Boy, everybody, this is Dark Shadow Night. She and I here walking like Chris, having a little quick walk before I go to work. And if I am speaking like not talking the way I'm talking, because I got my ass kicking in because of this weather. And sometimes I got to speak slowly because my speech impairment, because I got, still got my speech impairment. So that being said, I want to talk about two people, two people who have officially, in black history by the way, Officially lost their black car. They are no longer black. They are no longer black at all. Period. Cause they fuck up. Gil King and Winnie Williams. They're talking about Winnie before I get get to King. No, I'm stressed that Mrs. King. Cause there's a lot of shit I want to say. I gotta say it. Winnie Williams. What the fuck are you thinking about making a joke about a dad woman? Who just got murdered? She died. That and you talk fuck and then you make a fun of my you make a fun of my my man, Drew Carey, the dude who make me laugh. Are you serious? That's his. That was his woman he loved. You gonna make a joke about his woman? Are you serious? Lord, I wish I the truth. This is the type of shit I need to be like this. Duh. I, I mean, I want to say the Lord's Prayer. What could they say the Lord? They say the pimp Lord's Prayer. God, bless my, bless my hand and make it strong, Lord. Because Winnie Winnie is about to get Winnie Winnie is about to learn her place. Amen. Because I want to suck the fuck out of you. What the fuck are you thinking? No, let me tell y'all got this story. Why, I'm going to put it right there. Why, I don't not like Whitney Williams. One, she got her like one of the white girls on TV. Said, oh my God, Becky, look at her ass. She don't know what she's talking about, Becky. Oh, now I see here, see down doing some stuff. Oh my God! Look at that chick! Oh my God! I was like, God damn, you, you, are you black or are you mints or something? And the people seeing her too, like, girl, you're not the blue, you're not Beyonce. You kind of miss with um, uh, Fred, like Freddy Krueger has sex with an ugly chick. Who was a crack cat version like uh, himself? I could got me a joke, but it's it believe me at this point. But if you gonna make like you sitting there did that shit in a in the first place, like in your mind, you know you could say these words. Let's pray for Drew Carey woman. She lost her life. This is my condolences. I saw for your loss. You could have said that. They said Megan's some fucking joke about her, about her soccer. Her soccer is in jail now. They're that motherfucker white in hell. But you want to be like a dumb bitch and say some fuck up joke. Even though the person is dead. 
Right now, as a guy who wears sin, the black sin wings, we're not walking you here. And also, black people, you lost your black car now. And I hope white people and I hope um, Donald Trump people take you in. If they don't take you in, then I hope somebody will do it because we kind of like kick you out of the black education. You're no longer black no more. But say hi to Gail when you see her. Now, let's talk about Gail King. Why, she lost her black car. Gail, you know you fuck up, right? You know you just fuck up. Why the fuck you bring up Kobe? That whole weight education. But you want to make an excuse saying, well, see him, motherfucker, please. You could have said no. You could have bring up the man who was a good father to his kids. You could bring up some good shit about him. The dude was dead. The dude did some good. People love Kobe because he did excellent work. He was an excellent father. He was showing how us black men how to be good fathers to our kids. Even though it is a lot of people, even though it is a lot of black men out there are good, are good fathers to their kids. It knows it is no understanding. You know, it's that facts. Cause someone real actually would say they not they dad ain't shit, but you kind of find out they wasn't shit. But plus all the all the black men out there who actually is take care of their own kids and take care of their responsibility. I give y'all props for that and respect. But girl, you lost your black car because you. You were going to bring that shit up, but you couldn't bring up the fact that you got other people that you could have, inter- you do interview. You can say good things about them, but when, when you're going to say that to Kobe, that's when Snoop Dogg, three of them, I would say a lot of people got on your ass because of the simple fact that you're going to turns this man legacy and bringing that shit up. Even though that case was dismissed. And I'm trying to figure out why my grandma like your ass in the first place. My grandma like her, but I'm not gonna I remember like her and oh, but I'm trying to figure out how she like both of them. Cause both of them never did shit for us black men anyway. They just literally want to say they do it. Like, I didn't like about Oprah because, and this is like my personal liking of like about Oprah, when she banned Ludacris for her show. Look that up. Because Ludacris was on Crash. You know that movie Crash, that movie that won an Oscar? I like that movie though. But she didn't, she banned, she banned him for her show. And your Chris is a good is a good rapper. He not a trash rapper. He was good. This dude up to this dude is on legendary tearing at this point. Making money, making investments, something. That was on the top of black man. We all everybody is looking up to. But. Dude, y'all, y'all two, two, y'all with two of y'all. I'm not calling y'all black women anymore. I'm calling y'all dumb bitches. Two of y'all dumb bitches know y'all fuck up. And two, I feel like Gail should apologize to Vanessa for bringing it out. Period. Winnie Williams, you know you gotta, you know you gotta apologize for the shit you did. You gotta be a party. You better tell everybody you're sorry. You better tell that to Drew Carey that you're sorry. Well, excuse me, I'm burning. You better tell. You better tell that you're sorry. 
You're not gonna do that shit ever again. But until then, y'all freshly kick out of being black. So ain't no one wanna tend them in. Cause we always trade Gail and and Whitney Williams. Cause right now they they put like this. We got Where's your way? Is officially black. No, Rachel, yeah. She officially black. And Eddie the Jenner, she been black. I'm not gonna lie. Eddie the Jenner is black. We make her black now. And also, who else, who else we gonna put black on? I think of someone else, but y'all know I y'all we gonna we gonna we got we gotta train our ways and stuff. But anyway, if you like my video, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all comment what y'all think. Peace.